There are literally millions of miles of rights of way when you think about transmission lines and roadsides and pipelines. And if we can manage those effectively, we can really make a difference for our native wildlife populations. So my overall research goal is finding ways in which wildlife and humans can coexist on the landscape. So when people say to me, I can't believe you use herbicides at the study sites and it's good for biodiversity. I said, it's, I don't say it's good for biodiversity, it's compatible with biodiversity and it's a really important tool. And so I wanna point out some of the species to you that we've been really, um, have been really good for the pollinators on this particular landscape. So we have some um, goldenrod coming in, of course. We also have down along here coming in the vaccinium, the blueberries. And we have probably four to five different species of blueberries here at State Game Lands 33. State Game Lands 33 is unique because it's been going on for more than 60 years. And they are researching something that is not commonly looked at. And they're putting scientific evidence behind best management practices for vegetation management on energy lands. The vegetation management practices that are on display out here in Game Lands 33 should be game changer if they haven't been embraced yet. I mean, this is a cost savings way to be doing business. And this is a way that enhances the environment, enhances the reputation of the utility doing the work. It enhances the industry as a whole. I can build a long range vegetation management plan that covers my whole system utilizing integrated vegetation management. If we have a right-of-way like this, we have a very rich biodiverse habitat. So we can count that in those sustainability targets that we have. With integrated vegetation management, over time, that process leads to fewer inputs, a more sustainable right-of-way, uh, but also it creates a very healthy ecosystem and it's very favorable for the environment. The big key difference is the biodiversity that's out here. When you look at the compatible vegetation that we leave in place, this, this rich biodiverse habitat, this early successional stage habitat, we can keep it there with herbicides or with that IVM program, focusing specifically on non-compatibles.